for blue water is all I see. Bluer than the sky and it's all so deep. Say island to island. Aloha, this is your boy, Brother Mel, a.k.a. the Hawaiian Peacock, here with another video for you. In this video, DIY time. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fish, pets, dogs, cats, DIY time for Tiki Falls 2.0. As you can see it in the background, right now in California, Sacramento that is, it's pouring, it's raining cats and dogs. Cats and dogs, rain's falling down, weather's bad, it's cold, but that's not gonna stop us from making a video. No, 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 no. That was wild, I don't even know what the hell I was thinking. Here in the backyard, there's a bunch of trees, check them out. See my trees in the backyard, just a ton of trees. And what comes with trees? Leaves. Sticks, branches, wind blows, falls to the ground, especially in the uh, season of fall. Falls to the ground, wind blows, blows it into Tiki Falls 2.0. And guess what? I don't have a skimmer on this pond, okay? Um, it's not a really big pond. It's manageable. I just use a net, like a pool net, and scoop it, skim it, all the leaves, debris. There's just a bunch of stuff that flies around. So this weather is not going to stop us from... Uh, this DIY project. We're still gonna make a video. Um, not only is it gonna help from debris, but um, it's gonna help us from birds too. Uh, birds of prey, which are like cranes. They'll come down, if you got a pond with fish in it, they can hear the water, they see the water, I don't even know, they smell the water. They'll come out of nowhere. Next thing you know, you got this big crane in your backyard trying to eat your goldfish or your koi fish. So we're gonna prevent that from happening. Um, shout out to the OG, triple OG, IFG for uh, this project here. I got this idea from him. In his video, he makes a cover for his pool pond. So I'm gonna make a cover, thanks to you, IFG. So let's get out of here. We're gonna go over to the Home Depot, just like that. You know that whole like YouTube transportation? That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hit the camera and then we're gonna be right there at Home Depot, all right? But first I got a joke. What did one tree say to the other tree? Let's leave. I'm glad you picked up on my telepathy now, baby. Shout out to Gregory Abbott. I just did some telepathy, so that song just came into my mind. I don't know, but we're here at Home Depot. And by the way, oh, I just killed that joke, didn't I? What did one tree say to the other? Let's leave. <laughs> Let's go inside. Some more YouTube telepathy. We're here, PVC pipes, we're gonna get some. Then we're gonna get some fittings too as well. Easy DIY project, check it. We got half inch, 10 feet PVC pipes. We need three of these bad boys. All right, scratch that. I needed to get one more of these bad boys. Four 90 degree half inch elbows, two half inch tees. All right, so based on my measurements, I believe this one here will do the job, which is 19 bucks. It's a screen, 48 inches, four feet by seven feet, 84 inches. So we're gonna use this screen. It's a, uh, a pet screen, so it's a little bit more durable than your normal like screen door screen. So, all right, we'll see what happens. All right, so we're back home and it's been a couple days since that last video. Like I said, oh, uh, it's raining out here and nothing's gonna stop us from making this video. Well, mother nature won. Not a big deal. It's nice, it's sunny, it's beautiful. It's a couple days past Christmas. So I hope you guys all had a very, very Merry Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed my little Christmas uh, mixtape special on Christmas day that I posted. Just a little bonus video. Um, this video here, we're back at home. We're back grinding, making some more videos. As you can see, the sun is just blazing in my eyes, but it's okay, it's all right. I'd rather have sun than rain. Okay, so before I went to Home Depot, I measured out the pond, how much feed I needed as far as PVC pipes go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a hacksaw. We're just gonna cut the pieces according to the fittings. We're gonna fit everything in. Real simple DIY project. Um, and then we're just gonna put the screen over the frame and we're gonna zip tie the screen to the frame. Real simple project, like I said. Lay it over the pond, it'll be perfect. So you guys are gonna see it from start to finish. Let's get to it. All right, so here we go. We got our PVC pipes. We got our hacksaw. We got our screen. And we got our zip ties. These are the zip ties that I had at home. 
so I didn't have to buy them at Home Depot, but they're fairly cheap. The only thing that was really expensive, I would say, is probably this screen. I could have went cheaper, but I got the uh, pet screen, got it in black, a little bit more durable screen because I'm going to be zip tying this uh to the pvc pipes so i don't want to rip it or tear it so it was a pretty more i gotta get a, it was like 20 bucks a little bit more durable screen um so that's the only thing that cost a lot was the screen so depending on what you want as far as screen goes you can do what you want but um i got this more durable screen and uh, we're going to cut these pvc pipes real easy to do let's get to it I don't have a PVC cutter. They do sell those cutters. I'm kind of old school. I got a hacksaw, a little elbow grease, not a big deal. So we're gonna go ahead and cut. All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our T's and we are gonna put one end of our PVC pipe and then we're gonna insert the other end to where it is like this. So let's get put this one in. All you do is just stick it in a little bit and then we're doing this all one-handed so just jam it into the ground and it will make it nice and solid all right so we're done cutting all of our pvc pipes and as you can see this is the middle so i put the t right directly in the middle we have our ends with the 90 degree elbows on each end and we're going to put it together right now so we're going to have one rod or one pvc pipe in the middle for stability and structure and then we're going to have one on each end so this is what it looks like when it is done real simple to make like i said 90 degree elbows t's in the middle give it some stability and the corners real simple to make now we're going to add the screen and zip tie it I just finished one side. As you can see, we just zip tied all the way down around. This is gonna be the screen. And then we're gonna put one on this side and then we're gonna lay it right over the pond. So this is gonna protect the pond from debris, leaves, um, predators. So let's get to it. All right, so before I put the actual uh, pond cover on the pond, I just wanted to show you what I go through on a daily basis as far as skimming the pond goes. A lot of debris falls in here due to the wind, leaves. There's these little like pollen, floaty little like feathers that, I don't know, they get everywhere. They're coming off of a tree that's not mine, it's my neighbor's. But this is what I gotta do about an hour a day. Um, I'm constantly kind of just skimming the pond, getting rid of all these leaves, all the debris. As the wind picks up, of course, more of it gets in the pond. As you can see, we got leaves falling in the pond, but this DIY project with the cover is going to prevent all this extra work. Because as we get older, we work smarter, not harder. And as you can see, we got the fish are down there swimming around. They're not spooked out as much. Kind of getting used to uh, me coming out here and skimming the pool and feeding them, of course. We're getting closer and closer to uh, getting a chance to hand feed them. No casualties, everybody's healthy. You can see them down low. Water's still crystal clear. Water hyacinth still hanging in there. My water lettuce actually kind of died off, but I think that was just due to uh, the cold weather and maybe not enough uh, nitrates in the water to help fertilize it. But regardless, it's okay. I got more of it up front. So this is it right here. Look at all that. That's about, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And I'll just come over here and just bring it out right there. Bam. This net here, I kind of made myself, as you can see. I just screwed it into this long, long pole that I have. Not that long. It's probably about four feet. And I bought this little pool net 
like for 10 bucks at um, I think it was a uh, Walmart and then just screwed it into this uh, this bigger pole that I had at home anyways gets the job done man gets the job done all right let's get this uh, pool pond cover sorry let's get this Tiki Falls pond cover on it boom there she is the finished product the Tiki Falls 2.0 pond cover look at it very lightweight easy to apply easy to take off and that is going there so let's go ahead and put it on okay as you can see behind me tiki falls 2.0 without the pond cover and as i punch the screen pond cover Psh, boom there it is tiki falls 2.0 pond cover the diy project was a success shout out to ifg for helping me put this together because without him this was his idea i got it from his video hey check it out there it is real simple to make covers the pond measurements were easy to take um yeah it's very lightweight the water as you can see on the pond is just going underneath it's going to protect the pond from predators. It's going to protect the pond from leaves and branches and any type of debris that's blowing in the air to get inside the pond. So it's going to save me some time on skimming it with a net. Um, and I'm just super excited the way it turned out. I'm not a handy guy, okay? So if I can pull something like this off, it's like I feel like I accomplished something in life. So um, kudos to the Hawaiian peacock. <laughs> Fish are safe. Um, yeah, I'm just excited the way it turned out. Real lightweight, like I said, you can pick it up by yourself, put it off to the side, show off the pond at nighttime, cover it, whatever, during the day, if there's birds or whatever, if you feel kind of weird, um, yeah, just cover it. Fish are safe. Um, if you need to feed the fish, just lift it up and throw some pellets in there for some fish food. So uh, yeah, guys, if you guys like it, tell me what you think down below. If we don't like it, tell me what you think down below in the comment box. Um, yeah, if you like what I'm doing here, on this Hawaiian Peacock channel, don't forget to subscribe, all right? Join the Hawaiian Peacock Ohana, all right? Hit that notification bell too, please, all right? That way you'll get notified when I pull off some DIY project like this. Uh, but other than that, like, share this video if you want. Try to grow this channel. Um, real easy project, really easy DIY project to do. Uh, you, it doesn't even have to be for a pond. It can be for anything. Just make sure you have that middle divider there see that that's a little stabilizer so uh it comes with my engineering background <laughs> just kidding so anyways that's it happy fish happy life much love and aloha take care